Jeff Blankman here at the Kemper Invite today with uh, two of the uh, champions from the Kemper Knights as uh, Nate Mertz and Jared Tegas as a team overall win it and Nate the individual champion as well today shooting a 71. Let's tie it up here and talk to him first. Uh, good round for you today. Thank Things you. start out well for you? Yeah, not too bad. I just had some casual bars. I wasn't really hitting it too great, but getting it around so I know you were around even or so um, through about probably about 13 14 holes how'd you yep. close out here today uh, I just kept grinding with it I was I was hitting it okay so I'm like keep it in play I was making a lot of putts so that was nice made a couple birdies that was good too take us through those birdies what holes uh, I birdied 12 first I think actually no my first birdie was seven I had a pretty good drive it was a little downwind hit a seven iron to about 10 feet just about made the eagle but take a tap in birdie and then 12 didn't hit the grace of drives but it worked out all right hit a pretty good wedge and made about a 10 footer and then 13 i drove the green and then about made my eagle but another tap and birdie won't complain two real close eagles today how close were you to getting both of those really close on both of them actually kind of thought both of them were going in but long putts to start with or were they pretty close uh the one was probably a 15 footer and the one was probably 12 so not too bad now you kind of talked about putting well and, and, and getting up on and chipping well onto the green. How'd you drive today? It was okay. I had a couple bad ones, but for the most part, I kept it around the fairway, if not in it. So not too bad. Better is, than it's been. Is that the biggest thing for you is just getting the ball into the fairway and then letting your short game yeah. kind of work for you? A absolutely. Because like Jared can attest to it. Sometimes I get a little off the map and uh, <laughs> today I kept it and play a little better and that. That always helps. How do you bring yourself back when you get, as you call it, off map? Uh, kind of depends on where it's going. If you know it's going right, just obviously you don't want to just start aiming left, but figure out what you're doing wrong and work from there. Now, I heard you kind of say something to somebody I didn't quite catch the whole thing when you came in. You missed a birdie putt right here at the I end. I did. I actually didn't hit a very good drive on two. Two is my last hole, par five. And then I laid up pretty good. I had about 75 in, put it to about five feet. It was a really good shot. And just barely missed the putt, so. Threes, fours, or fives play better for you today? Uh, fives are probably my best, I'd say. Is, is that what you normally are, or are you, yeah? Yeah, a longer hitter, kind of, so that's where I try to make my money. Where do you feel like you got to get your game better uh, with the districts coming up here in a few weeks? Uh, just consistency all around, mostly with the wedges. They're pretty good today. I think as long as I can keep that around, keep putting all right, it'll be good. Individual champion and team champion here today, what's that mean to you? It's awesome. With our own invite, it's a pretty cool thing being around this course all the time it's it's a nice thing pretty good field to beat today too oh, yeah. right what's yep. it say for you guys overall as a team it's really good i'm i'm not i don't want to jinx it or anything but we've had a pretty good season so far and i hope we can keep it rolling well, i tell you what congratulations on that today appreciate you. you joining us let's move over now here to jared tegas jared a good round as well today a 76 uh so how'd you feel out there today you know i i didn't strike the ball well today but i kind of just got around and managed managed a lot of pars one birdie and a couple bogeys. You kind of talked here a moment ago about not getting around as well as you'd like. What didn't go right for you and how were you able to battle through that? Um, my drives weren't awful all day, but a couple got a little out of hand. And I, I mainly struggled putting. I've kind of struggled the past two rounds, but I just had a lot of tap in pars and I haven't really rolled anything in a lot lately. so. I'll be working on that coming up. What do you attribute some of those putting struggles to? Because normally that's a pretty solid part of your game. Yeah, that's definitely mainly the strongest part of my game. I'm I'm hitting good putts. They're just they're just not going in right now, and that's that's golf. Just got to keep working and keep hitting good strokes, and they'll fall eventually. How are you reading the greens today? How were they? I'm sure probably a little slower early this morning when it was damp. Yeah, they're a little bit slower. I I, I leg putted pretty well. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm reading them pretty good. I'm just, I'm running edges and a couple lip outs here and there and haven't, I just haven't been able to roll anything. How'd you play the par threes today? Par threes, uh, not great, but not bad. I, I played par threes, par fours, par fives, probably one or two over all of them. So I, I, I played, played them fine. What's the best, favorite part of the course for you out here? Which holes are usually the holes where when you step up to the tee box, you're like, this is one I own, this is my hole. I, I really like 12, I don't know why, but I parred it today. It's just one of my favorite holes out here. Other than that, I I enjoy uh, 18 too, I parred that one, so. Best putt today, what was your best putt? The longest uh, putt, the toughest putt, which one was that? I didn't I didn't hit too many, I didn't make any big ones today, but I made a, probably about a 10, 12 footer on 13 for birdie. Other than that is 
nothing outside of three feet. I didn't really make anything. Take us through that break on, on 13 then. How tough a lot was it? Uh, it was it was pretty straight. Little little right to left and I was just trying to give it a good roll like I had been all day. Hit a good roll, hit the center of the cup and made a birdie. Did you start out fast today or or did you have to kind of build into the day? I uh, I started off three pars and then three bogeys and then three pars to shoot forty on the front, so it wasn't too bad. How'd you fight through that mentally? Because I know you, you're a competitor. You're probably yeah. not happy with that. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was too disappointed. I, I didn't hit too many good shots, but that's his putting. I, I haven't putted well, and once I start putting well, I, my score will drop quite a bit, which will be nice to see. Senior year champion here at your own invite. Uh, that's got to be pretty special for you. It's nice. We uh, we haven't lost yet, knock on wood, right there. Uh, we'll just, we just got to keep going. We're Keep grinding is what it is. I mean, just keep it in good shots, one shot at a time. What's the mental focus as a team you guys need to have overall to be the successful season that you're looking for? Uh, we just need to take it one, I think, one shot at a time, hit good shots, and uh, we'll be ready for conference on Monday. We're over at the Muni, so that'll be exciting. All right, Jay, what we'll see you on Monday morning. Congratulations. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jeff.